Okay, let's look at this doxyentia activity. It is um, exercise 15 on page 265. I want to look at question 4. All the questions before question 4 just deal with the relationship. And this one deals with an actual number. So we're dealing with this relationship from Coulomb's law that the force is directly proportional to the product of the charges. And the force is inversely proportional to the distance between the charges to the power 2 or inverse square of the distance. So it says the electrostatic force exerted by two point charges 30 millimeters apart on each other is 12 times 10 to the negative 6 newtons. What will the electrostatic force be if both, for, both charges are halved? So now you could actually go work out a theoretical value for Q and redo this whole sum with um, putting in K for the, the Coulomb's constant and everything, but you really don't need to. You can do exactly what you do in the other questions. You say if both charges are, are halved, then it's a half Q, okay, multiplied by a half Q, which gives you a quarter Q, Okay, or it gives you a quarter of the value. So then you say, what is a quarter of this value over here? Okay. And a quarter of this value will be a quarter of 12 is 3 times 10 to the power of negative 6, 10 to the negative 6 newtons. Okay, so there will be your final answer. So it's actually quite easy. You just find the relationship based on based on the um, you find the numbers based on the relationship, and then you just multiply by that. Now it says to you the distance between the point charges is 10 moles. So you find the mathematical relationship between 10 moles and 30 moles. So 10 moles is one third. I can't type one third into the computer. Okay. So it is one third. 10 moles is one third of 30 moles. Now remember here that as they get closer, the force is going to get bigger because it's an inverse square law. So if you don't end up with an answer that's bigger than this, you have done something wrong. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to take this one third. Okay. And we have to raise it to the power two. Okay. And one third squared is one ninth. Okay, but now remember, we are dividing, okay, by one ninth. So dividing by one ninth, if we divide by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So divide by one ninth is times by nine. So to find the answer, my answer is now going to be nine times that value and 9 twelves are 108 okay times 10 to the negative 6 so if you really wanted to you could probably turn that into something that's not 10 to the negative 6 and I suspect if you did this in your calculator you'd get 1 comma 8 times 10 to the negative 4 or something like that but you know I'm not into my calculator okay so let's do the same thing here we need to work out the answer here. Both the charges double and the distance is increased to 60 millimeters. So this one is going to increase the force and this one is going to decrease the force because big distance, small force. So with the charges, okay, they're going to double. So it's 2 times 2 is 4. And now if we have a look at the distance, what happened to the distance? The distance is double, okay? So the distance is double, and we need to square this because it's an inverse square law, remember? So it's going to be 2 squared, okay? 2 squared is 4. So now, if you look at this, I've got a 4 on top and a 4 underneath. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. The charge is going to remain the same. This will be your final answer. Whatever it was in the beginning will be your final answer at the end.